Hi, today I would like to talk about uh, breadth first search and depth first search of binary trees. This is a fairly common problem in computer science and uh, you'll probably encounter it uh, in your professional career one way or another. So let's just get started. So I want to show a sample binary <laughs> tree <coughs> that we are going to start working with and uh, this is what I have so you can see to construct a binary tree in C sharp, you, there are many different ways, but the sample I have chosen is essentially a class called node, where we have a left node and a right node and a string is data. And I have put in two constructors so that uh, we can uh, uh, construct a node very easily. Uh, one way to do that is if we just give a data, then it sets the left and right to be null. Otherwise, you can just give the left, right and the data node. So those are the only two constructors I have. So just to check, uh, I would be constructing this sample uh, binary tree and uh, the easy way to just do this is uh, fairly straightforward. I can just call new node and uh, I can put in the right one. So you can see A, B and then we have C and D, then we have E here, F and G and then H. And uh, so this is uh, just a method which returns a sample node for us. So we can just say tree equal to sample tree. And the way we are going to do this is uh, we have a function called uh, bet first traversal and I'm going to give it the top value of this node, the top node uh, root. And uh, let's see how this bet first traversal would work. So to do a breadth first traversal, typically what you need is a queue traverse, a queue structure. So the, the way I'm going to do it is when uh, I would just initialize a queue and uh, to have something in the queue to start so that it makes checking the end condition easy. Uh, whatever node is coming in, which is usually the, just the tree node, I'm going to enqueue it. And then we will just have a while case as long as the queue has something which is uh, not empty. Uh, so first thing I would do is uh, DQ the node and uh, just print it. That's called when you're traversing the node, you can just print it. So in this case, for example, when the first time we call, A would be queued on there and we'll uh, DQ it and print it. And then I'm saying is the left node is not null, enqueue it on the queue. And if no right node is not on the queue, you can encode it on the queue. So in, in this case, we will basically end up enqueuing B and E. So let's just uh, see how this program works. And I put in a breakpoint here uh, just uh, after each iteration of the while loop so you can kind of see it in action. So the first time around when this program uh, just goes through, you can see it uh, ends up just printing A, which is what we expect. A would be printed the top node. And now on the queue, we should have B and E. So now the second time around, uh, it will pop the B and it will print that. And then it will do the E. And if you go down, it's going to do now the C, the D, F, G, and H. So you can see it is basically going uh, level by level, first level, second level, third level, fourth level. And that's pretty much how you can do a breadth first search uh, traversal and that's pretty much it. So I have some code to show you another way to do this is uh, called the depth, uh, called the uh, and I'm going to just uncomment this code out and uncomment the death first traversal code. And uh, let's see how that works. And uh, that should be even more easy to do. The way the death first tra uh, <coughs> traversal work is pretty straightforward and uh, we'll do it in, in recursive fashion because it's, that's the easy way to see it. So what I'm saying is if the node that I'm getting in is not null, we will just write it. That's just called the pre-order death first traversal. So we'll print that node A. And then we will just do a recursively travel of the uh, node dot left and tra recursively travel of the node dot right. And that's pretty much uh, how this function works. And you can also actually put in a little breakpoint just to see how this would be working. And let's just see how that starts. So the first time around, it's uh, you can C is going to end up printing A, B, C uh, first time through the um, this function. Then uh, if you go down again, it prints a D, which is this one. And 
<coughs> goes through E and F. This side of the tree. And then it goes and prints the G and H. So you can see it's basically going through the left portions first and then the right portion second. And that's how you can do the depth first traversal. And this is just really called the in-order depth first traversal. And now you're just unwinding the stack. And now it should be all back again. So hopefully uh, you have enjoyed this video and this can be of use to you if you need to really watch it later. And uh, one thing I would recommend is going to my website and searching for these and other uh, videos, God Associates. And thank you for watching this short screencast.